Hello beauties, thank you so much for watching. If it's your first time here, my name is Peladi and if you would like to see me again, kindly smash the subscribe button down below and the bell icon right next to it so you don't miss out on another upload. So today we're going to be doing a makeup tutorial using makeup products that are all under a hundred rand. The reason why I decided to do this long overdue makeup tutorial is because I can understand that as a beginner it can be so intimidating with all the products that I use in all my other tutorials. It can be overwhelming and I'm sure you just want to start off with the bare minimum, the basics, which is why your girl decided to do this tutorial. Right, so I've brought you closer so we can deal with the brow situation. So for my brows, what I like to do is I like to powder them down first and I usually use this LA Girl Pro Powder. It's the banana one and it's a light HD setting powder. The reason why I packed powder on top of my brows is because I'm an oily girl and I really don't want my brows to look shiny throughout the day. So setting them first with a loose powder, translucent powder, banana powder, it really helps when you want your makeup to stay on, especially your brows on for longer periods of time. Next what I do is I take my got to be glue, this is completely optional, you can just go in with this smudge but I need to lay my hairs down, this is not part of today's tutorial but it can be because it's just 135 but this is what I use but it's, a, it's very optional, you don't have to, it's not a have to have. Because as a beginner in makeup, when you're really just starting out, you really don't need this, like what I'm doing now. It's just that I know how I like my brows to look, which is why I've included the step because I do want to do my brows on camera for you beauties today. Then I'm just going to take my finger and just press it down. I'm no longer dragging it up and pulling, tugging on my skin. I'm just going to press it down. Like that. That holds those hairs in place for the whole entire day. Right after that, I take my smudged brow mascara, which is about just 54 rand, it clicks, and I go over those brow hairs that I just pressed down with a very light hand though, mimicking hair-like strokes. Right after that, I take a brown pencil and I'm going to fill in the tail part of my brow. This I got at my local Chinese mall for a 35 rand. Because I have sparse brows, this step is also completely optional. You can leave your brows here and clean them up like we're going to do in a little bit. But I'm going to go in, this is my new brow routine, but I am going to refilm it for you guys. But this is what I'm going to do to my brows because I can't leave them like this because I haven't been doing them like this. So this step is completely optional. But because I'm in a quest for fluffy brows, I'm going to take my Makeup Revolution, this pen eye eyeliner. It's called the Liner Revolution. And I'm going to mimic hair like strokes on the tail part of my brow. As you can see, beauties, this technique really emulates hairs and fluffier brows. And we both know sis has got sparse brows. So this is how I've been doing my brows. But as I said, I will do an in-depth tutorial soon. And I'm going to go one more time with the brow mascara. Out of my entire routine, my brows always take the longest to do, which is why I hardly ever film them while I'm doing other makeup tutorials. I hope you beauties can understand that it's not like I don't want to do my brows or what, it's just that they take so long. They take so long to do. It's operation cleanup, and for the longest time, for as long as I can remember, I've always cleaned my brows using my LA Girl Pro Conceals. I actually feel more comfortable using LA Girl Pro Conceal to clean my brows because LA Girl gets tacky, it doesn't disappoint, it doesn't budge through throughout the day, it doesn't get cakey, which is why I've stuck to this concealer to clean my brows. And for a beginner, I know you might not be familiar with highlighted brows, which is why today we are going to mix these two together just to tone down the toffee one a bit more and make it more beginner friendly. Because if you are still beginning in makeup, I doubt you're gonna even want to walk around with a lot of concealer on your brows because you don't know how to blend it out yet. But nonetheless, I'm I do mix my concealers if I'm going for the type of look that I'm going for today so yeah and for brushes now that I'm beginning to use brushes the brushes that I use are from quality makeup SA and I've got a dedicated brow tutorial on my channel I will link it up here but 
please check it out after we are done here. Then you can see all the brushes that I use in that tutorial. As a beginner, I would highly recommend this primer right here. It's the Maybelline Baby Skin Pore Erasing Primer, which is perfect for any beginner in makeup because it is silicone based and it blurs out any pores and imperfections that your skin might have but for my oily girls if you are a beginner i would suggest you actually try this primer instead of this one because this catrice keep me matte primer helps your foundation stay on for longer as it dries down matte so when you apply your foundation on top of this primer it is matte from beneath so it really limits how much you're going to sweat and how soon your your makeup is going to start disappearing so i would really suggest this one which you can get from take a lot so beauty's primer is very important it actually serves as a barrier from your makeup product I know some people don't use primer but I wear primer because I've got problematic skin but that is gonna be a thing of the past soon because the reason why I wasn't I'm going on a, on a tangent but the reason why I wasn't uploading last week was that I had my first chemical peel and my skin was peeling I will insert a picture here so you guys can see and there was no way I could apply makeup with skin like that and actually I can already see some of the results my skin is not like I had these terrible pimples on my face and in just 10 days all of that seems to be a thing of the past so I'm really excited to see how my skin well the future of my my skin is going to look like so as I was saying yeah which is why I use primer I've got this thing against just applying makeup straight onto my face I can't because I've always had problematic skin so if you want to protect your skin use a primer baby girl and yeah take it from there so as a beginner in makeup you want to know what foundation they are also overwhelming there they got it clicks a little this came so for aisles full of makeup 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 foundation foundation and you don't know which one to pick well i got you you can start off any beginner in makeup please you should start off with this maybelline fit me because you still don't know if you're gonna want to do makeup and you're still testing the waters and this foundation right here is going to help you fall deeper in love with with makeup so I suggest you go out and this is the first foundation you should pick as a beginner especially since it's usually a hundred rand and below if it's more it's a hundred and two rand got these beauty sponges from Mr. Price, Scarlet Heel and I got them from and these beauty blenders they really last a long time because i wash them after every use i like to go in with a brush just to you know blend the foundation and spread it around in onto my face before i go in with the beauty blender because with these type of bottles these type of foundations i don't mind it because i know how to fix it you, you, sometimes you end up using a lot more foundation than you need and i'm already used to applying it directly onto my face but if you don't want to di apply directly onto your face you can just squeeze it at the back of your hand and add it as you go along which is something i should do actually <laughs> and you always want to get your ears so that it doesn't look like you're wearing a mask and always bring it down towards your neck so that everything just blends in and it doesn't look awkward and doesn't show that this is where your foundation stops and this is where your skin starts you want everything at the end to look like skin so now that we are done with the brush i'm going to go in with a beauty blender you can go in with a beauty blender first but i've just gotten used to doing it with a brush and then my beauty blender as i find that this step really gives me that airbrushed look and it takes away any excess foundation that i might not need and it's just sitting at the surface this just helps the foundation seep deeper into my skin and gives off a skin-like finish but now that that is done i am going to take that same LA girl pro powder the banana one and i'm going to set the concealer because you want to set every cream product that you use on your face not only because it gives off a beautiful matte look but if you don't set all your cream products with the powder they tend to end up looking cakey oily and shiny and we are not about that life right now when it comes to highlighting your face you want to start off with these LA Girl products. I know it's what I started out with and I've stuck with them because they're so easy to work with. They are full coverage and yeah, as a beginner, I would highly recommend you get yourself uh, a tube of LA Girl and you, you take it like three shades lighter. Actually, 
as a beginner just go with two shades lighter than you are and then take it from there when you get the hang of using makeup then you can start to swap out your concealers and test the waters of other concealers so for today's tutorial I'm using my LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Toffee it's the same concealer that I use to clean my brows and then after blending it out of the brush, I like to go in with a beauty blender just to make sure that everything is nice and well blended. And now I'm going to take that same banana powder and I'm going to immediately set this concealer because I have lines underneath my eyes and if I don't set this concealer almost immediately, they're gonna like form ridges. The concealer gets into those lines and it forms these unsightly lines. I guess it's payback for all those years that I used to smoke. So, so I'm gonna sit underneath first. I'm going to blend it out just to make sure that it hasn't sunk into my fine lines. <laughs> and then with that same beauty blender, I'm going to push, you should push it into the product. I like to do that until it disappears. So this is my method, instead of baking, I just tap it in and blend it out until it disappears. Now that we've added the brightness back into our face, I'm going to go in and contour. And to do that, I like to go in with either or. This Maybelline Fit Me in the shade Espresso or this Wet and Wild Press Powder. This one is 34 Rand, you guys. And this one is around 88 bucks. These are going to create the curves of my face and I'm just going to give my face more structure. And as a beginner, you really don't need to start off with, you know, the cream contour. You can just go in with a powder contour as it essentially does the same thing. The reason why I use a cream contour is because I really know how to work with product. And as a beginner, you just want to first start off mapping your face, start getting familiar with makeup products. But if you would like to find out how to use... Um, liquid contour i've got many tutorials but i will link up one here right now which you can check out also after this tutorial and how to work with cream contour so today we are just going to use this powder contour because it is 88 bucks and we are keeping with the theme of today's video i do this because it gives my lip more structure and it makes it appear bigger than it already is okay <laughs> You're not going to leave it like this, you're going to blend it out until it's like a bit faded, just like it looks on the rest of my face. Well, for those of you that already know me and my antics on this channel, you guys know that I love using my signature blush, but I can't seem to find it right now because it's in that captain. I'm just going to call it that, and somebody probably threw it away because it did look like rubbish. <laughs> So I don't have blush and I love that signature blush and you can get it from Signature Cosmetics for 35 rand. So I'm going to go and re-up on that. So today for blush, I will go into this palette. Just ignore it because I can't find my blush. I will be going in with this pink shade right here called Swipe. You want to apply blush like here, not here, because it's going to make your face sag. You just want to apply it against your cheekbones rather than directly on your cheek. I also like to take some on the bridge of my nose, well, on the button of my nose. Sometimes I will bring it here. This just adds a bit more life back into my face, like it's not looking all flat and everything. But now that we have got it looking like this and it's nice and harsh, <laughs> I like to go in with my, all right, beauty. Don't kill me, but this, this powder is 135, but before you write me off, it comes in a pack of two and those who know know that I've been using this for ages and I've still got some and I've got that little sidekick. It's 135 from Clicks, and this is a very high-endish type of finished product as you will see right now. I'm going to use it to set the rest of my face where I didn't apply any setting powder and I'm going to use it to diffuse this blush that's looking so hard. Whenever I apply makeup, I always make sure that I pop this powder 
in my bag for touch-ups because it's really unrealistic to think that I'm going to be looking like this three hours from now. In two hours, trust you me, being an oily girl, I'm going to need to, you know, dab some powder on my nose and this no, this powder is just perfect for that because as you can see, it doesn't take away from anything. It actually adds more of a warmer tone to my face, which I absolutely love, which is why I swear on this powder for now because I have been using it for a long time. As you can see, it has blended everything in so beautifully together. Nothing is looking harsh and, you know, it doesn't even, it almost looks like skin, you know? It just helps with that a lot. And another thing that is above our 100 Rand price point, for a reason though, for a reason, is my Maybelline Lasting Fix. I absolutely love the setting spray because it keeps my face matte and it absorbs all of these powders as you will see now, but it's only, a hundred and something I will of course link it up and if you are an oily girl you might want to invest in the spray and it's really gonna last because you don't use it a lot let me just show you let me give you a demo I'm just gonna go there 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 as a beginner you can go over it with a damp beauty blender just to make sure that there aren't any splotches left behind and just look how much more alive I look, I look so beautifully matte, but not ghost-like, which is why I love that setting spray so much. And I can't find anything lower than 100 Rand, but it is really around, I will link it up, it's not that steep, considering the fact that you're not gonna use that much of it. And you guys know that I've, I've been using it for quite a while and I haven't, I haven't replaced it, so. It is a good buy. Eyes. As a beginner, you really want to, you know, take your time, especially when it comes to eyeliner. But when you are ready, you can start with Essence products. This liner, all of the eyeliners, I love using them because they are very affordable. Another good one to use is the Wet n Wild one, which is around always 50 something brand from our link it from Clicks, and you can swap them out. You can start off with these, but eyeliner is not essential in a makeup kit. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to line my waterline because my face, my the eyes part of my face is looking quite bland for my liking, and I still want to look like a babe. So I'm going to align them with my black precision pencil which I got from this came for 17 Rand if you want to try out liner I also suggest you start using you start off by using these liners which are like pen like this one is by LA girl and it's around 70 something Rand if you want to start using pen eyeliners but first mascara you can wear mascara because as a beginner you might not know how to wear lashes first I'm going to wear these gorgeous lashes that I got from Jade Beauty Bar but as a beginner you can just use a mascara and they are very good mascaras for under a hundred rand they are by Essence all the Essence mascaras are all you know voluminizing and curling so you can just pick what effect you would like on your lashes and buy that one and right now I'm using the crazy volume one even though I'm gonna wear lashes because the mascara helps the lash glue stick better as you can see the mascara coupled with the eyeliner already gives my face more life and you know I look more awake now for lips I'm going to line them with a brown lip liner and then I'm going to fill them in with this essence stay matte lipstick it's in the shade duck face and I will add some gloss to the center of my mouth only and it's also by essence and it's called friends of glamour okay I think I actually want to keep this matte lip and I'm not gonna add any gloss but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use my wet and wild bronzer as highlight because I absolutely love the formula of this and good highlighters are really expensive but as a beginner but if you can get this bronzer by wet and wild this one is in the shade palm beach ready it is absolutely gorgeous if i can just find my fan brush yeah it is absolutely gorgeous and it applies like butter it doesn't have you know a tin like metal finish to it which is what i love about it what highlighter does is that it just accentuates the areas where the light hits your face so you're going to glow and what I like about this one is that it seems like it's coming from you know beneath the foundation 
rather than on top. For a drugstore bronzer, I think this is just the right bronzer to try out as a beginner before you go deep into highlighters because this one is really easy to blend as you beauties can see now. And I'm going to take some and put it on my inner tear duct as well. This just helps open up your eyes a bit more. while giving the illusion that you are more awake than you actually are. <laughs> Please click on this tutorial to watch next and also you will find all of those other tutorials that I told you beauties to watch throughout this tutorial. You'll find them up there as well. And if you haven't already, my darling, please subscribe to my channel and show your girls some love. I will catch up with you beauties again in my next one. Bye. Bye.